What we witness today is a new milestone in commercial and educational cooperation between China and Europe. China will be the largest economy in the world within an ever-shortening uh, period. Uh, and I think the contacts between our universities, the contacts between business schools, um, are a very important part of that. The rise of China is changing the way the world interacts with itself. It is changing the way in which the world's collective problems need to be addressed. China is exporting knowledge, and that's obviously a national evolution, something to be welcomed, something that is also conducive to a deeper uh, set of exchanges between Europe and China. Now it has reached a critical mass of knowledge, that it's really time to uh, share with the rest of the world, and especially on management dimension. We're concerned far more than just how to make more money. We're concerned about the issue of why we do business in the first place. If entrepreneurs see the creation of social value as equally important to the creation of wealth, they can develop innovative solutions to global problems. You can have successful entrepreneurship and social responsibility. The role of business schools in general is much more complex, much more subtle, much broader than it used to be as they seek to train the leadership of today and indeed the leadership of tomorrow. It's wonderful that the Eastern business schools are coming west and especially that Chungkung is uh, establishing its office here in London. I think that's tremendous. I think we can learn from each other and I think this university gives us a chance to do that. Chungkung has every potential to become a thought leader in China-Europe business cooperation.